Hello ladies and welcome back to my channel. My name is Olivia and for this video I'm going to be stepping way outside my comfort zone and I'm going to be doing a makeup application um, tutorial. I, I've i never done this before and um, so I'm a little, a little worried that this may not work out. Um, I did I did have a couple requests for it, so I wanted to be open and try new things, push my boundaries. All right, now for today, I'm wearing a I'm wearing a scarf right now that's I probably won't end up wearing, so it's just there to to cover up my hair. Um, I will be changing for the next video um, into the scarf of the month for August. I'm kind of looking forward to that one. But I figured I'm going to be shooting that video. I've got to put makeup on anyway. Why not put my makeup on on camera like I normally would? Um, just adding the adding the filming part to it. Okay, now for today, I'm going to be putting on a new to me makeup brand. Um, I discovered it because I found the Olivia palette. I'm a sucker for anything with my name on it. Um, I grew when I was growing up, my name wasn't wasn't popular. I couldn't even get a toothbrush with my name on it. So I kind of wanted, I kind of want everything that says Olivia. But this is the Beauty Creations Olivia palette. Now I found this one. Um, I stumbled on it for really inexpensive. It was seventeen fifty, and I was insanely in love with this color story because this I feel like this is something that looks really good on my skin um so after exploring this this palette the swatches are amazing I have photos of that up on my um Facebook page and my Instagram page but this was definitely me now after discovering this I went and just did some research on the brand just to find out you know a little bit more and I really liked what I read I'm not going to talk about all the the specifics about the brand definitely check them out it's beauty creations um, so I went to their website and I found quite a few things that I was intrigued by um, I got this I of course placed an order I got this banana setting powder it smells phenomenal. Mm, it smells amazing. I like that. Um, of course, I'm always looking for a foundation because right now I've been for a while using the Morphe foundation. Um, just because I couldn't, I couldn't spe keep spending forty dollars every time for a foundation. It was just too much. Um, so I'm always looking for new, new and fun foundations. This one, I, I saw some vi videos on its stayability and it's, it's kind of, it looked, it looked cool. I was intrigued. So I picked up this foundation. Now I'm hoping that this one is my color. I've got very fair skin and I'm glowing right now. <laughs> it's like, whew, the light's hitting me funny, but it comes in this really, really nice, nice jar. It's a, a nice glass one. It's similar, the feel of this is similar to my um, Born This Way bottle. I liked that bottle. But it's got the little pump. It's kind of cool. This one may be a little light. I may have to, may have to adjust that. Um, now, I picked those up. I picked these two up and a set of liquid lipsticks. It came in this, I believe this was $19. Oops, that's the wrong thing. I believe it was $18.50, $19 for all of these guys. I will probably, um, I'll put a link to the, to the company website in the description. Now, I like, I really like liquid lipstick but I have a problem with some of it being too dry. But this, these are beautiful colors. And now I did a swatch test the other day when I received the makeup and this stuff has some staying power. It's insane. 
So um, I'm thinking that with the mask, it shouldn't, letting it dry down and then putting your mask on, it shouldn't come off. So I'm, I'm kind of in love with this, with the different colors. Now, also, I'm a sucker for a mystery box. I really enjoy mystery boxes. It's just so cool. I love surprises. So I got, I ordered the large mystery box and inside of the mystery box, I, I got quite a few things. I was, I was over, overjoyed, overwhelmed. Um, I'm not, I'm not one for concealers and um, concealers, contour palettes, but this is the, con uh, this is the contour palette I received. And the reason I'm not one for the contour is because I kind of like the way my face looks. It's kind of pretty. You know, it is what it is, and I, I, I kind of like that. But I'm definitely going to give this a shot. This really light color, I, <laughs> you won't see it on my face. I probably will use it as, I don't know, like a setting powder or something. That'd be kind of cool. Um, but that was one of the things that came in. I was, that's kind of cool. Um, I got these nifty eyelashes. They seem to have a bazillion kinds of eyelashes on their, on their site, but these are really cool. Um, they got this really, really beautiful, let's turn around, liquid lip. This is amazing. I put it on, of course I swatched it on my arm because I wasn't wearing makeup. Um, I forgot to take it off. <laughs> and, um, because when my sleeves came down, it covered it up. It's no big deal. But I fell asleep and this stuff, I still had to take it off with an oil-based remover in the morning because it was it was still perfect on my arm in a little swatch right here. It's a nifty color. Now, I did receive two things. Um, I'm not a big glitter person because, of course, I get it everywhere. Um, but they got these two shades of loose glitter. These will probably go to, no, I'm going to say not probably, these will go to Amethyst. So she's, she's a phenomenal makeup artist. She's a, an insane, cool artist altogether, but, um, I'm going to be definitely sending these to her because she will totally do fun stuff with them. I personally will get them in my eyeballs. I will get them all over myself. I will look like a fairy exploded all over me. It, it's not a, it won't be a pretty look, but they're kind of cool. If you like the loose glitters, they're really cool. Nice colors. Now also, of course we get the, in this, I got oops, a set of brushes. Now that's for me, that comes in handy because you know, I've got this mishmash of brushes here. So if I have another set while these are being washed, I can still put makeup on. Does that make sense? So I'm excited to get these. Okay, a couple, and you know, they come always come with a little bag. And these are fun for, I toss these in my purse with random odds and ends in them. I never use them for makeup, but random other things I toss in and put it in my purse to keep things organized. Now, two more things that came in this, and then I will actually start at makeup application. I was just really excited about this new brand I thought I'd share. Setting spray. This smells so good. It smells so good. It's all floral and amazing. Mm. So it's, um, it's really nice. I will be using this today. I haven't, I haven't done anything. I sprayed it on my arm because my skin is sort of sensitive. So oh, whenever I get a new product, I spray it on my arm because I don't want my face to break out, um, to see if, if I'm going to have a sensitive sensitivity issue with it and it didn't cause any issues for me so yay me and the last thing that came in this I'm gonna move these over here is this really beautiful beautiful palette um, it comes in this neat neat sleeve all of their palettes come well packaged in with these extra beautiful sleeves and the artwork on the cover is amazing just love it now, this is a bright, a bright, bright color story. Um, nice and vibrant. Nice and vibrant. 
I will say that when I received it, there were there were three shadows, this this one here, this one here, and this one here that were um a little a little cracked. I don't care. I packed them back in. Had they been all over the place, a mess, I'd probably contacted the company, but they were just slightly cracked. That's why they're not perfect. I just pressed them back in. I'm I'm not too fussy about that. It's it was it's a beautiful palette, nice nice and colorful. So that was the only that was the only thing that that might have been an issue for some people is that those three shades came cracked. It's for me, whatever it is, what it is. But those are the things that came in in the mystery box. I think for forty 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 five dollars, that's pretty awesome for for the mystery box. Um, this is another palette that I picked up by them. It's the Aurora palette. It's a lot of neutrals, which I kind of like the neutrals. -ish. There are some shades that are, are about the same on the eye when you're, when you're blending out. But I think with a large palette like this, it's going to happen. You're going to get, you can only put so many shades of brown, so many shades of, of different things. But I think the, it's really pretty. But I also look at it, those are the shades, some of the ones, the repeats are shades. I'm going to, I'm calling them repeats because when they, when I put them on the eye, they're about the same. Um, they're colors that I really like. So having an extra of it is really cool. That's just my opinion. So my thoughts. But anyway, I'm going to be, I'm going to be wearing a scarf, a floral scarf today and I want to This is the hardest part, put it, figuring out which one I want to use. I think we'll just use the Alicia palette. Turn my phone. Okay. Now what I'm going to start out with, I don't have an eyeshadow primer from Beauty Creations. I have my Morphe eyeshadow primer. I do use it. For my eyes. I put it on with my finger. I'm sure people are out there screaming, oh my God, no, what are you doing? But this is the way I've always done it. And just spread it on. Now I have already done my, my morning routine, my morning skincare routine. I washed my, you know, of course got up and washed my face with goat's milk soap. It's a homemade, or not homemade, it's a handmade soap by Siobhan. She has a great, it's White Raven Apothecary. She has that on her, on the Etsy. She has a store on the Etsy. I use her soap and it's lovely. I will put a link to her down in the description so you can check out her soaps. I love them. They're amazing. She's an awesome, awesome lady. So I have on my shadow primer and then of course I do my lotion um so I take toner I just I use a toner after I wash my face it's nothing super crazy it's witch hazel with um oh my goodness brain I need more coffee this morning it's witch hazel with rose water in it so that's what I use for toner. And then of course I go with my ultra super, super expensive, not really <sighs> standby Pond's cream. I know it's old fashioned, but my makeup routine and, and my, my skincare routine is old fashioned. There's a reason why these things have been around for a hundred years. It's um because they work. So I'm drawing, letting this get tacky dry down a little bit and then I'll start with my eyeshadow and not putting on I learned I learned not to put on my foundation and everything until after my eyes are done so that my I don't get the fallout all over the place now I think I'm going with some really pretty peachy not peachy some pinks today I'm thinking like this 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 kind of kind of thing it may be just this corner here. So I'll tell you, I'll show you 
when I when I pick them. But I'm, I want to go with something that's going to match the floral fun of the scarf. And I don't think the blues and greens would be good for today for that particular scarf. No. I like this brush. I like this angle floof brush for doing this this part here. Again, my skills are kind of mediocre. Um, Leora does really phenomenal looks, but I got my, my mediocre skills here. I'm going to be using this one in the crease and then blending it up with this one just over the top. And then this one, either this one or this one over on just under the brow. My nose is really itchy today. This is insane. I haven't used this one before. Now I I've developed my own weird technique. I've been using probably the same techniques since well, since my twenties. So for at least twenty years. I've been doing the same things. I love the color. My right eye always looks much nicer than my left eye for some reason. So it's no surprise here. But I'm taking it in right in this area. And and apologize for the light going in and out for the saturation of the video going in and out this looks insanely bright trust me I will get it blended out so that it will look really cute okay so oh that's bright just gonna a little bit more at this corner. Okay, let's blend this in just a little bit. Okay, so I've got a handy dandy little towel. It's slightly damp. I just run my brush across it to get out a lot of that product. So you can still see it's kind of stained. But I'm going to go into the slightly lighter color. Start to just at the top of that and into it a little bit. I am going to one second. The sun is coming up over the house in front of me so I get a little extra light right about now. Again, so I'm sure there's somebody out there going, oh no, what are you doing? But makeup is fun. So I'm just taking that that lighter pink, going slightly into The color before and blending it out. I'm supposed I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to be wearing makeup wise to the wedding. Probably gonna pick some like peaches or something, but I got a huge palette of pinks. I'm wondering. Okay, let's switch out brushes. I think I'll try this one. And I'm tapping out any excess. I can see. Now I haven't had my eyebrows done in forever. And you know I can't find I, I can in between pluck you know pluck my own eyebrows 
I can pluck my own eyebrows when I can find my tweezers, but I've just let them go and grow in. I have a really neat natural arch to them. So I'm not, I'm not, they're not horrible, but I feel like I've got some, some hairs that need, I think they need to be done. I know it's just like random to talk about while I'm putting on this, but. Okay, I think I like that. It's nice and bright. Now, okay, so I'm going to take this flatter brush and I'm going to start coming in this direction. I'm thinking I'm going to, what I normally do is like a bright, and then try to with a different color here. I'm not sure which which I should pick. Um, I might go with this. I might go with this nice. Let's see. I might, let's let's try this brown. Let's see. We're gonna try going from brown to gold, and see how that works. This bronzy brown color. We'll see how that works. That is this color here. And I'm taking this one in the center. We'll see. Let me see. See how that works. I could probably have gone all pink a bit. my first time using this using this palette let's see let's try this okay this one's better and then i'll top it with that that shimmer i think i like that Okay, now let's see. Let's see if that comes out a little. Some of these, sh some, sh some shadows I found like to be put on finger with fingers. That's like, oh, that's interesting. But sometimes you just go with it. Okay. Now I'm really, I really like this color down here. Okay. All right. So the color I put down first was this one, but then I decided it wasn't, didn't have enough color. So it didn't have enough color pop for what I wanted. So I put down this orangey burnt orange color and then topped it with this so it kind of gives it a shimmer while keeping it so it looks sort of copper I kind of like that grab one of my other brushes the thing about keeping them in a jar like this is you have to you have to look through them there it is make sure it doesn't have anything in it it's my favorite, my favorite brush. Aly Alyssa gave it to me. It's mermaidy and fun. So I'm gonna see how this works. Give a little bit of. Ooh, I like that. A little bit of gold in the center coming out. Again, my makeup techniques aren't super 
super complicated. It's actually quite rudimentary makeup skills, but really liking this palette. I will say the the shimmer shadows are the best in this. Um, the formula is really cool. I'm really, I'm really impressed with them. For the as inexpensive as this brand is, I'm like really happy with with the shimmers. The mattes are mattes. They are what they are. But these pinks have a lot of color. These pinks are really pretty with the with the orange. Okay, kind of like that. Now I'm gonna to touch up the pink in here. Might deepen it a little bit with the, where's that brush? I have a brush that I've had forever that I absolutely adore. I'm not a hyping up the, MLMs, sorry, but my sister um, was a Mary Kay representative for a while and I purchased this. Oh my goodness. Was I, or, I was, it was in 2006, 2005. I can't remember. It's been forever, but I really love this shaped brush. Um, I'm going to go in with a darker purple and see the crease just just to deepen it just slightly. So it takes me forever to put on my makeup because I'm so weird about blending the colors and getting it now i can't my skin is super glowy so weird and of course the, the video goes in and out i do not have i don't think i have the proper equipment for filming makeup looks and since i don't like to edit videos except for adding in a thumbnail or when I go ranty, like cutting out some of the ranty bits. But I just put the color that I just used is this color. I'm going to have to come up with really fun names for them so that I can just write them down <laughs> and have names to call them because this color here and this pinkish color there just it's just doesn't it's not as exciting as talking about a color. Um, talking about a palette with names for the eye colors. Now, I'm not adding any more product into this. I'm just going to blend it out a little bit. And I will say this looks much better in person. Okay, okay I'm good with that. Now, I'm seeing a little bit of fallout underneath. It's not so horrible. I've had worse. I'm going to do put on my foundation and then I'll do the underneath of my eye. I'll do the bottoms of my eyes. I do like to take a a cloth and just gently, I'm not pressing on my face, I'm not scrubbing, just back and forth a couple of times just to get this a little bit cleaner. Make sure there's nothing under there. All right, now I'm gonna try out this new foundation, which may be too light for me, we'll see, which would be an interesting, an interesting thing. 
and take this hairband off. Okay, I'm gonna one, two pumps. That's kind of light. Now I've got my Morphe foundation brush here. I typically, this is what I typically just on with. And then um, a sponge to pat it out. I'm going to do that with this one too. Take a little dab, 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 dab. I might have gotten a little much out. Wow. Okay. It's a little light. Let's see. Oh, makes my skin extra glowy. Wow, just what I need. Actually, not too bad. Okay, that's not it's weird. I'm gonna have to do something different for the setup so that my skin is not glowing. That's so weird. Now I'm gonna say this foundation not so much with this. Maybe I'll try the, the sponge just to pat it out. I get I'm getting the streaks in it with the brush. Maybe it's just me not knowing what I'm doing. I don't know. Sometimes I think it is. Now I've got extra on my hand. I'm going to leave it there because I always need just a little, little tiny bit when I'm when I'm when I'm further on I always just need a little bit more somewhere a little bit to to fix up the eye I've gone down too far with a just the way it works so I'm going to leave it there now, <clears throat> I'm going to grab that flattish brush again, make sure I have enough of that product out. I think I'm going to, on the bottom, I think I'm going to use I think I'm going to use to go with the orangey coppery color on the bottom because this we kind of bring it down and a little bit of the dark purple in this section and this section well it's not really dark but it's darker than the other colors that I used so I'm just running it around on the lower it's un underneath of my lashes just like so. Now I'm going to blend that out with some more product in a lighter color, but be careful not to get it inside of the eyeball because that is uncomfortable and I end up crying off the bottom and starting again because my eyes will water. Now for me, it's always easier to go lighter and then um, kind of build up the color because that just, it, it's better than having way too much and then you got to cover it up or just figure out a way to get it off. Get 
that off a little bit. And then I'm going to go with the gold color that I have on my inner eye. Draw that right in here. Try not to get in my eye. Okay, I like that. All right. Now, again, I'm sure there's probably proper techniques that I'm and brushes that I'm not using. I just use what I have, use what I've been using forever. So, okay, now I'm going to grab this guy. I like this guy. And some of that really, really light peach. And just dust it under here a little bit. I think it helps to blur this out a little bit underneath. So it's not so such a harsh line. Plus it gives me a little tiny bit of glowiness. I'm not putting on any concealer today. I don't think I need it. Probably should probably should have, but I'm not, I don't think I need it. I'm not going there today. I totally am enjoying these shadows. Uh, it's like, I like those. It's nice, colorful. I think all of these, um, there's 30, 35, two, four, six, seven, 35 pan palette was, is, was $20 and change. It's pretty cool. That's a, that's, that's really cool. So I'm just, Again, making sure that's not so harsh. I don't want, I don't want the harsh lines. This one needs a little bit more. Okay. All right. Now I get to work on my eyebrows. Now I'm just going to grab, so let's see where it is, my Spoolie and brush them up. I'm just tipping. So there we go. They're actually quite full lately. They're really, really cool. But I am, um, I have this eyebrow product here from, Co from ColourPop. It's uh, just like this. I'm going to be using that. And I typically darken up with a little bit of shadow. I'm, let's see, I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to grab my other palette from them. This one doesn't have any dark. This Alicia palette doesn't have any dark browns. Um, I'm going to... I'm gonna darken up my darken them up just a tad. I'm not one for those really ginormous Instagram brows. I kind of go with what nature gave me just to enhance it a bit. Like this one here is thinner on the outside than my friend over here. So I'm darkening them a little bit. They don't want them to look fake. I don't want to look like I have fake eye eyebrows. I like I like them to more natural. And yeah, my my when I'm doing this, my this part of my hand rests on my face because I have a nervy a nerve thing where my hands shake. So it's kind of odd, but.
Okay. The uh, but the nerve thing, the caffeine makes it worse. But I can't, I can't not drink my coffee in the morning. I'm just so used to it. It's it's weird. Okay, so my eyebrows. Now I'm going to get them in place with this. I like to think of it as mascara for my eyebrows. It's ran kind of random thought, but. Like so. I do like the pink and the the orangey copper of this eye, eye makeup look. Okay, so I've got that there. Now, today is the first day. I'm actually going to waste, I'm going to be wasting some product. Wow, I feel, feel all, all sorts of ways here. Okay, I did not pick up any blush from, from Beauty Creations. I'm thinking though, I may, I may cheat. Um, I ran out of blush. I had a, this, this Tarte blush. I liked it so much. Um, I keep looking for this particular shade. It's called Party. I haven't been able to found it, find it. It's been sold out. Um, so I ran out of this a while back and I started using my eyeshadow palettes as blush. Um, I started that with my James Charles palette because they had lots of pinky colors that would look good with my my skin tone. So I um I like to cheat occasionally and just use the the eyeshadows as blush. Again, this is the way my mom taught me to put on blush. It's on my cheekbone, you know, right here is my, my cheekbones. You don't see them much because I got a fat face. I got this nice, nice, nice face. Nice. And I accept it. Please do not think I'm putting myself down. I just like, I like my face. It's just, this is, my cheekbones are well hidden. I don't have those nice chiseled cheekbones, but I'm putting it on here. I do not want like uber bright eyeballs and then insane bright blush because that just brings back childhood nightmares. So, of Mary Kay parties and it's like, oh no, what are you doing? <laughs> That's the, are you, are you sure you're supposed to wear it like that? But again, I'm, just, I'm saying that and I'm putting on the blush the way my mother taught me to put blush on. But it, it seems to work for me. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Like my Pond's cream from eons ago. Okay, I think I like that. Now I'm going to, I'm going to wipe my friend off here on my cloth that I keep. I get a new one of these every time I start putting on makeup because it ends up covered in stuff for my brushes and any excess um, makeup. Now I am going to powder. Okay. Now I will say my favorite um, my favorite setting powder is Born This Way. I, it, again, it's the fit it goes with the foundation. I really loved that foundation. I just couldn't couldn't spend that much money on the foundation. Sorry, it's it's a lot. So, but anywho, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna try this out. See how this works. No, I don't. I mean, next time I do this, I'm gonna bring up a little saucer. I, I always keep them up here. I took them down because I've been feeding Mr. Kitty in with the saucers. So saucers and fish dishes. I have these really cute fish dishes I've been feeding Mr. Kitty with. He's next door with my daughter. It's bring your bring your pet to class day in her online classes. All right, so I'm just going to just going to use this little thing to knock out some of the powder into. So you can see, just like so. This smells amazing. 
I'm going to use this nice big fluff brush. A little bit goes a long way. Um, I'm going to set it down. I always tap it. I always put it in. You see all that on there? You don't need all that. I just tap it out with my fingers. And then brush it on with my glowing skin. Now you can still see the blush. I like that this isn't this is a nice light powder. It's got a little bit of tint to it, but it's not overwhelming the makeup, overwhelming the other stuff. I don't know how to put that properly because I normally don't talk about this when I'm putting on my makeup. I just go, okay, this works. Okay. Mm, it does smell so good. Okay. That smells delicious. Okay, I like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see how the foundation wears today. It doesn't look all, all dry. I have old lady skin, so I do have pores. I'm not going to apologize for that. I do have wrinkles. I'm not gonna apologize for that either. I've earned every single wrinkle, every single, Every single crease, crinkle, from laughing at my kids, my husband, you know, going with those those lines here, from, oh my God, what did you do? <laughs> so I'm not going to apologize for my happy and surprised lines. They just are what they are. Okay, so that's that. Now it's lipstick time. This is going to be a hard choice because so many pretties. I should probably, even though I should probably spritz my face with the setting spray first and always forget one step, <laughs> except to laughing at myself because for some reason the mascara is something I, I'm getting ready to run out the door and I go, oh no, I forgot the mascara. So I've got to do setting spray, mascara, and then I will do lipstick. So I hope this one isn't freaky. I normally do use an aerosol style right here, um, but we'll see how this works. Ooh. Mm. It smells neat. It smells good. It smells like um, perfume, not, not, not heavy perfume, not the, but it does, it smells nice. I think I'd like it better if it were in an aerosol because I, I like with this, I sprayed it and it's like too close. And then it's like, it's concentrates in one section. I don't know. So, but it does give me, it doesn't mat. It, it kind of gives me a more dewy look than my normal setting spray. This one dries down really matte. So I'm kind of okay with this. Okay. Again, the only way they could make this better is if it were aerosol. And that's just because of my, my inability to control things the proper, you know, or to use things properly. So yeah, I, kind of, I like it. Now, quick mascara. I hate putting mascara on. It's always weird for me. Now, I'm not, I could probably put on the fake eyelashes, but I will not make you sit here for half an hour while I try to figure out how to glue them and get them stuck in all weird positions before I get it right. Besides, I ain't gone anywhere today. I still have about 12 motifs to embroider on the chuppa. I'm just doing these two tutorials. Well, this one I guess can't be a tutorial. This is a like a get ready with me chatty chatty. Hey, check out my new makeup. Which thinking I have my daughter is and this is why I hate putting on mascara because I just dabbed myself in the eyeball. Look at that mess. That's a hot mess. 
And I just made it a even bigger mess. Oh, great. Okay. So, about that, <laughs> this is why I, this is why I always leave that little bit. I thought I would get it through. Oh, well. Life is lovely. All right, this is the brush I use for just tap tapping when I'm um, concealing. Now I'm just going to put this on there. Tap, 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 tap it on. Hopefully it will. Okay, let's see. So special. Let's just see it a little bit. Wonder if I'm the only person who does that. these days and then I'll go back and put in some touch up the pink the, the light color under my eye all of that because I couldn't control the uh, the wand all right some days all right let's see See if there's enough product left on this to do this. Okay. Okay, I fixed it. No, no harm, no foul. All right. Now, since I got this all clumped up right there, I I think maybe I'm the only person who does this. When I put on my mascara, I go back when it's semi-dry and I give it a quick touch with the spoolie. I don't want to have spider leg eyelashes and it doesn't matter i it doesn't i found that it doesn't matter how expensive or how cheap the mascara is i end up with tammy faye baker eyelashes if i don't do this and if you don't know who that is google you will giggle trust me Okay. Okay, so makeup except for lipstick. Now, what did I do with the lipsticks? There they are. I'm thinking, say, so of all of these, I'm thinking I like this is really close to what I wear all the time. My my Urban Decay. Let's see. This is my go-to lipstick it's my, my favorite shade my daughter gave me my first tube of this and I'm completely obsessed with it this one is called hideaway and it's so pretty it's it's a nice neutral for me um, and that's really close somewhere between this one and this one so I think I might try since that's a bold Let's see if we can go with the lighter. 
And I think I'm going to do what I normally do. I outline my lips with, with um, a pencil because I don't trust lipstick ever to stay in the lines. I just don't. That's red. That's not the one I wanted. And it's really not cute when you've got little fine lines around your lips and the lipstick starts to bleed out. That is definitely not a cute look. My hand is behaving today. I'm surprised. I, I have the habit of putting my, my of steadying this hand whenever I'm doing anything. Um, you, it's it's a crutch. <laughs> I've learned to to do, and that way I don't end up with a mess. Now this part I do take extra time with because I want my lips to look symmetrical. They're not perfect. They're not going to be perfect, but my lips aren't symmetrical anyway. This side is slightly smaller than this side. It's the way it was made. But I trawl them on so that they're a little bit more symmetrical. I'm probably the only one who notices, but okay. So I've got the lovely, that's what it's called. Hello. It's this smells like it smells like rose water. Okay. It was starting. <laughs> I learned, you know, after a while you learn to, you learn to anticipate and compensate. Ooh, I like that color. No, I think it's going to have to dry down a little bit. It is a matte lip gloss, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure about the dry if it'll feel dry. Some of the matte lip glosses um, have my lips feeling kind of in a way. This is the first time I'm wearing this one, so I will definitely be. This is definitely an experiment, and I will definitely come back and say, hey, this is this is the way it was. If it was crappy, then I will say it. If it was awesome, I will say that too. So I think it's kind of, but it's a beautiful color. It doesn't have that, that um, chemical smell. It doesn't have that, the fumes. Sometimes with putting on the liquid lipstick, you get that, um, that you, when you breathe in, you, it kind of gets that taste of chemical in your mouth. I don't, I don't get that with this. So I'm really excited about that. Um, so this is my makeup look for the day. I think it's kind of fun. It's light. It's me. So my, my goodness, it's an hour in and this is actually how long it takes me every day to put on makeup. So it's a real get ready with me. Now I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I will see you in the next tutorial, which is Scarf of the Month. So have a good day.